Example two, solve the square root of x plus five equals x plus three algebraically and then graphically. So we'll do part A here. Solving it algebraically, you're gonna square both sides. So I'm just gonna show that here. So doing that, we're gonna clear off the radical on the left side here. And on the right side, we're gonna expand that so we can see that twice and that'll allow us to multiply using the FOIL method. So we get x plus five here, foiling this out, x times x, you're gonna get x squared. Outside is 3x, inside is 3x, so when we combine that, we're going to get 6x, and then last will be plus 9. Now to solve, remember you're solving a quadratic, you want to set everything to one side and set the equation equal to 0. I'd like to keep this side um, x squared positive, so I'm going to move the x to the right and the 5 to the right, so don't forget you'll need an equation still, so we have 0 on that side. So you're going to get x squared, so 6x minus x will give me 5x, 9 minus 5 will give me 4. Now I'm going to factor. Now not every quadratic equation is factorable. If it doesn't factor, you, you would use the quadratic formula. If it does factor, then you should factor, so that's much more efficient if you can, okay? Unless it's one that you're stuck on, you can quadratic formula will work. All right, so you've got x and x. Two numbers that multiply to negative 4 and add to positive 5 would be... Oh, whoops, this should have been a plus sign um, right here. I'm going to say that again. Okay, let's try that again. Sorry, when I went 9 minus 5, this is a plus 4. Okay, so now two numbers that multiply to positive 4 and add to positive 5 would be a plus 1 and a plus 4. So this would be x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to negative 4. Now you have to remember with radicals that so part of the solving process is to check for extraneous roots. So even though it doesn't necessarily say to verify or check, that is part of the steps you need to do, okay? So we're gonna check for those extraneous roots here. So we're gonna plug negative one into the equation. It has to be what it was before you squared it, of course. So negative one plus five is equal to negative one plus three. So I get the square root of four is equal to two. So two equals two, that is true. So in terms of showing work, you don't need to put a little check mark. Of course, you've done your work correctly. You, what you want to do is you want to show that this is the solution. Not necessary to circle that because that's not actually your solution. This is verifying that x equals negative one is correct. All right, we have to verify negative four. So you're going to substitute negative four plus five is equal to negative four plus three. So then uh, you're going to get the square root of one is equal to negative one. So one equals negative one, so that does not work. So what that means is, in terms of um, showing your work and notation, this should be a not equal to sign now that you've discovered that. So we wanna put that as not equal. Do not put an X here because it looks like one equals negative one X and you haven't done anything wrong either. So sometimes we do that. What you wanna do is show that this is not a solution. So it's a good idea to cross this out. Okay, not a not equal sign, that's safe for if this is over here, and you would say extraneous root. So that's sort of the, the notation. All right, let's look at what happens when we solve this graphically then. You would graph both sides since we have a material on both sides. And if I was, sometimes we graph, move everything to one side and graph, but then we wouldn't know how to graph the square root of x plus five minus x minus three. So this is an instance where we definitely wanna graph both sides. So we're gonna graph y is equal to the absolute value of x plus five and y is equal to x plus three. So this is the radical graph shifted to the left five. So I'm gonna put my endpoint there, go over one, up one, over four, you're gonna go up two, over um, nine, you're gonna go up three. Hopefully that's enough points. We'll start with that and extend it if we need to more. Now we're gonna graph y equals, uh, I'll label that two since we're graphing two on the same grid. Y equals X plus three, think of Y equals MX plus B. Start with your Y intercept. Three is your B value, your slope is one, so you're gonna go up one, right one, up one, right one. You're gonna continue that pattern in both directions. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, there you go. So it intersects in one place, it intersects at X equals negative one. So the solution is x equals negative one. Notice that, <coughs> excuse me, it does not show the extraneous root. So when you're solving graphically, you only find the solution and not the extraneous root. That's gonna only appear if you solve it algebraically. Um, you can kind of tell if this is a parabola, it probably would have crossed through negative four, but that's not necessarily something you need to look for.